I build mathematical models to learn patterns in data sets. So for example, if you want to make a product better, you will use data that has been gathered from that product. You would build a machine learning model to understand the patterns in that product and then use that information as feedback into the development of that product. I lead a group of researchers to explore ways in which we can get computers to understand human emotions and then respond to it appropriately. I learned linguistics, which helped me be a computational linguist, teaching computers the linguistics that they need to know in order to produce and perceive human language. I'm studying using basically a non-invasive brain stimulation device to address pain and anesthesia in clinical settings, as well as controlling that device using machine learning. I'm using neural networks to look at data and determine how we can better protect uh, user data so that people can use the data without jeopardizing personal user privacy. I manage a team that builds the maps for autonomous vehicles to use. So the cars don't know where they're at unless we provide the maps for them, so that's what my team does. My job is to develop new algorithms and methods uh, to help the car understand the world and react to it safely. We will leverage different sensors. It can be optical sensors like a camera, and it can be a LiDAR sensor or a radar sensor that's sensing the range. My research focus is on um, computer vision, specifically for um, drones and specifically for swarms of drones. We take two to 10 drones and we try to fly them around together and um, write algorithms that allow them to use cameras to understand their environment. So we're working on designing a system that's similar to an electric fence for your dog, but it's for your drone. So you say, you know, these are your boundaries, don't leave them. So whether you're a good pilot or a beginner pilot, you're safe to fly exactly where you intend to fly. My research focuses on underwater robotics using artificial intelligence and computer vision to help robots see what's on the seafloor. The end goal of my work is to build high resolution 3D models of underwater scenes, and this will help scientists do their work in marine biology or marine archeology. span I work in robotics. I also work in education, and I also work in anthropology. So I build robots that help teach children and I think about the ways that technology impacts society, especially societies and cultures that are very different. We're making self-driving cars. Running a typical user study, it first begins by inviting someone from outside our company to sit in, for example, our motion simulator or sit in actually one of our autonomous test vehicles. And while they're performing their tasks, we're observing what they're, they're doing as well. What controls are they using in the cockpit? I go and I talk with older adults about the challenges they face day to day as they get older. And then I help to figure out what sorts of robots or robotic technology we can make to help meet those challenges and to help people live a more independent life. I'm a digital strategist and I deal with emerging technologies. And today those emerging technologies center around artificial intelligence, um, they center around blockchain, and they center around some other technologies which includes the connectivity portion of 5G. My main focus is on tech education and uh, teaching people about the importance of technology and what they could do with it. It's not actually limited to only coding or programming. So you can design algorithms. You can design what a website will look like or design what an interface looks like. There is a very diverse way you can be involved in tech, but not only as a career, but also in everything that you do. Either you're a doctor, a lawyer, there are going to be tools that you're going to use that use coding or programming. So being able to use those things and actually being smarter than the machines that you're using would actually help you excel in whatever you're doing.